Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and today we're going to be talking about the 170 million download celebration on the JP side. So, let's start off real quick. We have the Android 18, the Super Saiyan Trunks, and the Super Saiyan Goten that are coming out. Those are one of the first ones that we have here. Uh, the Super Saiyan Trunks and the Super Saiyan Goten both are rebirths, so that's really awesome. I'm, it's, I'm assuming that it's the original agility SSR Goten and the physical uh, SSR Trunks. They actually get some pretty damn decent buffs to their passive skills, which makes them relevant, and their super techs are grindable. I'll be doing a full analysis on their on their cards in a separate video once it's put out there with card details and everything. Um, and the Android 18, I'm not sure yet. I think it's going to be a new card. We're assuming that the Bio Broly event's coming out soon. We still don't have 100% proof that he's the Tech 120 lead. Chances are he is going to be, but we're not sure yet. We're going to have to wait and figure that out. But along with that, there might be a new Android 18, which is going to be... Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, we do also have... The next one we're going to talk about, too, is the LR Hercules coming out. So it, it looks like all this is going to be based off of the LR Broly movie. So this whole 170 million downloads is based off of LR Broly. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the LR Hercule is also coming out. He looks like he's tech, so he might be Dokken Awaken from the SR Friends poll, which that's pretty cool. I, I, that's awesome. We have another uh, technically free LR that we can get from Friend Summons. I, I'm glad I have, uh, I think I have one at Super Tech 10 and I have a couple others on my global side anyway. From there, we have a whole bunch of other events coming out. We're not going to talk about all of them. We're only going to talk about the ones that matter. And we have the 20th World Tournament coming out. Unfortunately, we don't have any information as of that time. Um, at this time, uh, about any of it, but we know we're getting a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in his school uniform. I don't know why he's Super Saiyan 2, because I don't think he ever went Super Saiyan 2 in his school uniform, at least not here. But yeah, so that's going to be coming out. He should be pretty badass. Well, let's go ahead and talk about the cards real quick. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the LR Hercules, just because we've been hyped about him. Uh, thank you again, Toaster of Fun from the Reddit, because of the translations here. He is the one who translated and posted this information up. LR Hercule, lead, all types, HP, and defense plus 100% up. I know it kind of stinks there's no attack buff there, but it's all types. Uh, and the reasoning is because this unit is actually a... Uh, he's a defensive unit for the most part. His passive skill is super high chance for attack to go up by 20,000 and key plus 7. So if it's very if it's similar to General Blues, it should be about a 70% chance, but we don't have any information about that. Um, his link skills are Hero, Soul vs. Soul, Golden Z Warrior, Supreme Power, Innocence, Rebirth, Legendary Power. His 12 key super does colossal damage and a rare chance to stun. And his 18 key super is mega colossal damage, and for the next three turns, defense is increased by 50%. So that stacks, you could have up to 150% increase on top of his 100% buff there. So that's not bad. I mean, if you're lacking good defender on a tech team, I guess he would be decent. And he gets a bonus to super attack 20. Uh, I wasn't able to translate that myself. I don't know if we have the exact amount of how much it powers up. I'll be doing a full card review of him when he's available and how to doke and awaken him and all that information. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at his super attack real quick. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, I, th I think, well, he had the Supreme Power link, so he was doing extra damage, and I'm pretty sure he was at Super Attack 20. Um, I don't know if he was full dupe system. but So you could definitely tell, even with his passive activated with that attack buff, he's still not doing a lot of damage. He's not a damage dealer. He's a defender. Just remember that when taking him into consideration, he's not going to hit hard. Don't know how many defenders uh, off the top of my head. I don't think we have a lot of defenders, except for like maybe the Tech Frieza on the Tech teams. So, take that for what you will. If you're lacking good defender, he might be decent for you. If not, well, you know, take again, take it for what you will. Now, let's go over the next two cards. The original Agility Goten and the original Physical Trunks. The SSRs get their Doken Awakenings to these two. So, let's just mention them again. I'm not going to do a full detail until we get the real information. I'm pretty sure that uh, the Agility Goten Doken Awakenings from the burgeoning Might Super Saiyan Goten Kid. Um, his new stats are... 
leader agility types key plus two hp and defense 70 percent up not great i wish it was attack instead of defense can't do that to everyone right Pass skill 90 percent up at the start of the turn so holy crap 90 percent that's a attack buff from the start of the turn uh, this guy by the way if you don't know they are so common to pull the sr versions there's like two like sr versions that drop constantly so if you have him i would recommend just you know when you do your summons to wait z awaken them and feed them in you can get them up to super attack 10 they will hit a lot harder. When you have a Supreme Damage Dealer that is at Super Attack 10, they just do so much more damage. Link skills, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, the Innocence, Rising Star, Prepared for Battle, and Rebirth. Oh, now, now let's talk about the Trunks real quick. Pretty sure he Doken Awakens from the Amazing Combat Sense, Super Saiyan Trunks Kid. Uh, let's see, he has a new leader ability of physical types, key plus 2, HP and defense plus 70% up. His passive skill is now attack plus 100% up on a Super, which holy crap, at Super Attack 10, he's going to be hitting like a beast. Um, Link skills are Golden Warrior, the Vegeta Family, Super Saiyan, the Innocence, Rising Star, Ready for War, Prepare for Battle, and Rebirth. Uh, also, so that means he's also going to be linking pretty well with the Super Saiyan 3 fighting, oh, the Super Saiyan 3 uh, Go Tanks that's out, the physical one, the new 120 lead for the physical guys. Uh, he'll be hitting, he'll be hitting pretty good links off with him. Uh, so make sure you take that into consideration. Oh, and I didn't realize this. Um, oh shoot, both of them. I, I forgot to mention this on each of them. Their supers do supreme damage, and each of them has attack up three turns. Uh, again, I'm not a huge fan of that, but if they're increasing their, their stats, I mean, we don't know the exact number of how much it is. There's the data the information has not been downloaded yet. Once that comes out again, I'll provide that to you. But yeah, they're, they have their attack increased by for three turns. So that's freaking pretty damn awesome. But that's it, guys. Thanks for taking the time. I hope this helped you out. Hope this was informative. Hit that sub button if you're new here, and I will catch you in the next video.